there are seven tribes, but one tribe, one tribe in this province, we, I was sharing last night to a few people, one of the tribes called Timon people. They're the most remote tribe probably in Cambodia. And they're still in this province, only about 100 kilometers in distance. From this point, it takes three days to get there, from this point. Three days through the jungle, crossing rivers and everything. Well, we, we met this tribe, and when we met this tribe, uh, the Holy Spirit, we were looking for them to share the gospel, and it's a longer story, but anyways, it was a miracle even to find this tribe. Uh, they're a nomadic tribe, and they just uh, travel around from village to village, and the reason why they are nomadic is not because they're hunting animals or things like that. It's if somebody dies in the village, uh, they believe that a curse and the spirits have come to uh, occupy the village, and so if somebody dies, they burn the entire village down, and then move to another location and build a new village. And, uh, and so they're going from place to place every time somebody dies. And in the jungle, somebody dies every three or four months, you know? <laughs> and so they're moving constantly. And so when we finally, we heard about this tribe only through rumors. Uh, and then we finally found the tribe. And uh, for about two years, we made friends with them. And, and the Holy Spirit told us, don't share about Jesus right away. Because for thousands of years, they'd never heard of Jesus before. And they'd never seen foreigners like myself. They had never seen Khmer people also. And so when they f saw the first Khmer person even go to their village, they didn't know how to even talk to them. So we learned their language, learned their culture, and after two years of developing a relationship with them, uh, the reason why we didn't share, I felt the Holy Spirit say we shouldn't share the gospel with them, but also that uh, the Holy Spirit told us that if we were patient, that uh, the whole tribe would come to Christ oh, at, wow. at one time. Yeah. And so we were just waiting for that. Rather than just having one person come to Christ and then persecution starting, uh, we prayed that the entire tribe would come to Christ. It's only 700 people, so it's not a huge tribe, but it's a, it's a small tribe in two villages. Mm -hmm. And um, so after two years, we went back, we went back to the, or we continued to develop our relationship, but we felt like the time was, was right to share the gospel to them. And, uh, it was just a fantastic day, but we went and and I would began sharing with the elders of the village and then another guy went to another part and started sharing in another village uh, with, the, uh, with the women and children and another person with the young people, another person. And we were spread out all over to two villages, uh, all sharing the gospel and talking to them about their, uh, the stories that they have. They have stories about a great flood. And so we compared it to Noah. They had a story about, uh, in the end, their, their, their life will end when a huge fire comes and burns up the whole jungle and they'll all die in the fire. So we talked about that. As, uh, the Bible also shares about that as the judgment of God and the, the final days. And so we used their culture to share about Christ. And then uh, on that one day, the entire tribe in two villages, uh, the women, the children, the adults, they all accepted Christ. Mm. at different times, not together in one big group and put up their hands, <laughs> but they one by one in two different villages accepted Christ on that same moment. And uh, that was fantastic. I kept waiting for angels to come down. <laughs> 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 <Nothing happened. laughs>